Hello everyone, this is Prakhayar again and in this video we will talk about SQL commands. Categories of SQL commands. So basically SQL commands are classified into four categories DDL, DQL, DML, DCL. DDL is data definition language, DQL is data query language, DML is data manipulation language and DCL is data control language. Now let's understand what is DDL. It consists of SQL commands that can be used to define the database schema. So DDL commands define the database schema. It deals with the database schema and is used to create and modify structure of database objects in the database. So besides creating the database schema, it is the commands of DDL are used to modify the structure of database objects in the database as well. Now let's see some uh, DDL commands. Create create it creates a database or its object like table function views triggers etc so create command is used to create database or its object the syntax can be seen here that create table with table name and column name xyz and its data type drop it deletes objects from the database and the database so what does it do? It deletes all the objects from the database and the database itself. If you uh, use this command with the symbolic linked database, both the link and original database are deleted. So if uh, this database is linked with some other database, so once you delete the current database, the original database would also be deleted. So the simple syntax for drop is drop, table and table name. Alter it modifies the structure of the database so alter is used to modify the structure of the database and the syntax for it is alter table table name modify column definitions whatever the columns you want to change or alter truncate it removes all the records from the table including the spaces allocated for the rewards so what does truncate do uh, it uh, removes all the records from the table and uh, including the spaces that are allocated for the storing the records so that uh, spaces are also removed so the syntax for it is truncate we use the truncate keyword uh, uh, table table name comment it adds comment to the data dictionary uh, syntax comment on column table name dot column name is a string literal so what uh, this syntax tells us is uh, it uh, the comment command it commands on the column table name dot column name to write this particular comment the uh, the one enclosed in inverted commas rename it renames existing object in the database so it is used to rename whatever the existing object are there in the database simple syntax is rename table from current table name to new table name so this is the previous name of the table and this is the new name dql dql statements are used for performing queries on the data within schema objects so data query language statements are used to perform queries within the schema objects its purpose is to get some schema relation based on the query path it. so what does it do it gets some schema relation based on the query path through it let's understand some dql commands so the one and only dql command is select so it retrieves data from the database select command is the most basic and the first command that you write in an sql query query uh, generally it is the first command and the syntax for it is select column name from table name so whatever the columns you want to select from the table you write it over here before the from command and you write the table name after the from command or you can also use the syntax this way like select asterisk from table name where asterisk means to select all the columns that we that are defined in the table dml data manipulation language it includes sql commands which deal with access and manipulation of the data presented in the database so all the SQL commands which deal with access and manipulation of the data are defined under DML. These statements do not explicitly commit the current transaction. So these statements do not uh, commit the current transaction. It includes most of the SQL statements. So most of the SQL statements are defined under DML. So let's understand. Insert inserts data into a table. It's as simple as that. Update it updates existing data within a table delete it deletes records from the database table 
so these commands are just explain themselves and uh, the syntax is visible on the screen dcl it includes commands like grant and revoke which deal with rights permissions and other controls of the database system so uh, data control language has just two commands grant and revoke that deal with rights and permissions to a database system what does grant do it gives user access privileges to a database so grant gives user access privileges whereas revoke it revokes the permission given by the grant so it draws users access privileges given by using the grant command syntax from grant is grant select comma update on table number to user 1 2 3 whatever you have and revoke it revoke select update on table from user 1 user 2 so here the grant is granting permissions to user 1 user 2 and revoke is revoking the permission given by grant to user 1 user 2 TCL transaction control language now let's understand what is a transaction a transaction is a propagation of one or more changes to a database so when we make changes in the database uh, there can be times when uh, subsequent changes are made and um, uh, like more than one changes are made at the same time so transaction is just a propagation that uh, propagates one or more changes to the database TCL commands deal with transactions within the database so that's uh, what we learned in the first statement they can only be used with DML commands like insert, delete, and update. Okay, so they can only use with uh, only be used with DML commands. These operations are automatically committed in the database, hence they cannot be used while getting tables or dropping them. So these operations are automatically committed in the database. So we cannot use them with like when we are creating tables or dropping dropping the tables. Okay, TCL commands commit rollback save point set transaction what does commit do it commits a transaction so when you want to make a transaction you add commit and uh, it commits a transaction rollback it rolls back transactions when errors occur so once a transaction is committed and if some errors occur over there we get a rollback and rollback command is used for the same purpose save points sets a save point within a transaction so while committing it after cons committing a transaction and when the transaction is in process uh, we can save save point with save point command set transaction it specifies characteristics for the transaction so what does the set transaction do it specifies uh, the characteristics for the transaction we are pr proceeding with so set transaction read write read only whatever the characteristics you want to give thank you that's all from the video have a great day